Hello, today we are going to be cleaning out the pantry and organizing, so let's get started. All right, so this pantry just kind of has a lot going on and it is time to reorganize. It was all nicely organized, but I've had a lot of helpers in here lately. And so now it's not so organized. So I'm gonna go ahead and start up here at the top and kind of clean out and just work my way down. And then I have a couple containers that I had gotten. Um, I was actually using these for toys, but I think I'm gonna try and use them in the pantry. And if they work well, then I'll just go get some more for the toys. So let's get started. So in this um, catering bag, I just have a bunch of other bags that are like insulated. So I'm gonna kind of look through and see if I need them all and if I can get rid of any, cause I don't know, it just seems like a lot. Like I think I'm gonna get rid of this big catering bag cause I just have no need for something that big. But like lunch boxes, um, just different things like that. So I'm gonna kind of sort through and get rid of some. So I'm going to keep this shopping bag and I'm just putting some other shopping bags I'm keeping as well as the lunch boxes in here. And then I'm also going to keep this um, catering, or not catering bag, but insulated bag. And then I have a pile of ones I'm getting rid of over there. And then I also have this, which is nice for when we go on trips because it holds quite a bit and it holds the cold air in well. So I'm gonna put all these back up there now that I've kind of gone through them and gotten rid of the things I don't need. All right, that is so much better. All right, so now I'm gonna start on this next row here and um, just go through some of this, like this doesn't even belong in here. It belongs over in my spice cabinet. So I'm just gonna put that there. camera sitting on a table and I'm using this table to just kind of um, put sections so like throw away move to a different area and then I'm gonna just to hold to put back up in to keep on this top shelf over here in the corner things that are like extra um, so here we have like a barbecue sauce so these are all things I may have actually like in the fridge right now but when we run out um, there's another one up here but I'm gonna just double check their expiration dates yeah see like this actually 
expires really soon. Um, that's surprising. I wonder when I bought this. Because sometimes things just don't get used like I thought they were going to. And yeah. And then we end up with expired. So I think everything else in here is okay. But I definitely, I need to maybe find a way to use this. All right. So I'm going to maybe use a basket for those. Let me see what I can do. All right, so I'm not really done with up here, but I kind of need to go through this next one to see what I've got here that maybe needs to move up and then I can kind of organize a little better. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on this next shelf here and yeah, you'll see. Okay, so this bottom shelf kind of needs to be wiped out. The top two shelves were fine because I kind of wipe them out frequently when I'm placing groceries in, but it looks like something kind of broke and spilled. So I'm gonna kind of clean up this bottom shelf. And then we have all of this to get back in there. All right, nice and clean. I'm using this styrofoam um, cooler to kind of hold the bags. And I don't want to keep it that way. I don't really like how tall it is in there. Um, but I'm not sure what else to keep them in. So I'll be on the lookout for something better to hold those. But for now, I mean, I guess that works. Um, and I gotta have the styrofoam cooler somewhere anyway, so. All right, so, so far, I have like this is all like pasta and I have one spaghetti sauce here and I was really hoping this one would fit in there but it doesn't so I'm just gonna leave it over here for now and I don't know I might leave that or take that I'm going to move I think I'm gonna leave my bread here because the kids can only reach this shelf and that one they can't reach this one so if it's something they could get they need to be able to reach it like so to make sandwiches that kind of stuff needs to be down here so they can reach. Um, up here I have teas, croutons, popcorn, which I'm pretty much the only person that eats popcorn. And then I've got all the extras. This is something the kids get. They like to make what they call pancake in a mug sometimes. So I think I'm gonna make some breakfast foods down here because that's easy for them to get into. So I've got these sauces that my husband likes to uh, keep when we have extras and he uses them sometimes at work. So I'm just going to put that little jar there with the sauces. Okay, here's some more oatmeal. I guess we'll do oatmeal down here. Alright, I'm going to use this red one for these chips that they are like almost gone but not quite. Kind of help keep those more organized. put these down here and I think I'm gonna actually move this breakfast up because I don't like it mixed in with the chips and snacks so we'll keep snacks down here the final 
final product, um, reusable bags, shopping bags, uh, insulated bags are all up top. And then in here, we've got sauces, extras waiting to be used, some bread items that the kids don't really need to get into, rice, croutons, tea, snacks for big people. And then in here, I've got, I went ahead and moved the oatmeal to this because this is easy to pull out. So I've got like my canned goods, um, the oatmeal, some stuff the kids can get to if they want to make themselves something, bread, pastas. I'm not sure what's going on with the pastas. They're kind of out of control. And then some chips, which we actually don't always have chips. I'm not really sure why we have so many chips right now, but we do. All right, so then down at the bottom, I just have some extra water bottles. And this tub is actually stuff. Oh my goodness, guys. Um, okay, toys. It is toys that the kids wouldn't clean up. And so I confiscated them all and told them I was getting rid of them. And I put them in this tub to see if they even noticed they were gone and they haven't. It's been sitting in here probably for like six months. So I guess I'm gonna go through this tub and actually get rid of some of them. And then maybe if there's some things in there that I don't wanna get rid of, maybe I'll put them up to give as like a price. I'll re-gift them <laughs> to them, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. So I need to go through this tub cause it's just been hiding out in the pantry and toys don't really belong in the pantry. So I'm gonna go through that and kind of figure that out. But once we take that out, the pantry I believe is done. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I might get some more containers like these next time I go to the store because I kind of like the way it makes it easy to move stuff back and forth without having to like pick up a bunch of stuff. But um, yeah, that's my pantry for now. That works for us. Uh, I don't like to have an overabundance of groceries on hand at once, so it works out okay. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like these homemaking mom life videos. And just a quick announcement, I'll mention it. If you are one of my Disney fan watchers, like if you like Disney like I do, I believe I'm actually going to be starting an entirely new channel solely to, about Disney because I feel like um, I could easily fill this channel up with nothing but Disney and I know not everyone is here for that. So I think I'm gonna start a new Disney channel. So if you are here because you like my Disney videos, be on the lookout for that because that'll be coming soon. But um, as always, you're welcome to watch all of them, but I will talk to you soon and I will see you in the next video.